Savvy Craft's new 2880 Supercam. It's the first one in New Zealand, although I understand the Invercargill manufacturer has exported two others, one to Australia and one to Papua New Guinea. This one's powered by twin 225s, new generation Yamahas, and the boat goes like blazes. I spoke to owner Craig Oldfield about what it was that made him choose the Stabby Craft and the Yamaha engines in particular. Well, Stabby Craft has one of the best reputations for safety and stability and everything else, and so it was a pretty simple question about what I really wanted. We, we wanted a pure fishing vessel. Uh, there's very few occasions you could actually uh, sleep out in the Cook Strait. It's one of the worst bits of coastline in New Zealand. Uh, there's actually no safe anchorage for any boat between Napier and Wellington. Stabby is, yeah, is perfect because you can actually get the swell going one way and the currents going the other and the wind, so you actually end up side on. So you want something that's actually going to keep you from rocking around and getting seasick all the time. So Stabby Craft, yeah, once again came to the front with the pontoons on the side to actually keep the stability. <laughs> Didn't even look at anything else. Yamaha's always been number one for us, and uh, we didn't really want to go to the 225s. But uh, when you get the new technology, there's no cables, there's nothing to actually rust, nothing to get in the road. So we ended up with the 225 new generation to make sure that we had the latest technology. Uh, we we don't want cable seizing and everything else. Uh, the boat may be parked up for a couple of months without being used. So the last thing you want is uh, things seizing. It really is a nice way to go. We, we wanted a fish bench where, at a height where it's quite easy for you to actually cut up your bait and if it gets calm enough to actually even cut your fish up before you come back in. It's with a salt water pump and everything else so that you can actually wash your fish in salt so that it actually keeps better. Uh, we wanted a hauler um, on the side. Um, my back's not very good after many years. Yeah, we wanted a davit to pull cray pots. Uh, we, we do three or four cray pots uh, you know, a day if we're out fishing. Uh, the cray pots we're using down at Nawi are these new wooden ones and they weigh a lot more than the ordinary steel ones. They, they're wooden framed and they seem to catch so much better. We fish around four people. The currents in the Cook Strait take your rods all over the show. Yeah, you try and fish any more than four, you spend most of the time untangling rods. The first time out we were, we were cruising and it looks like most of the time we'll be using 35 litres per hour at the normal cruising speed, which is, is pretty reasonable. You know, the last boat we had was 50 litres an hour and I only had 150s on it. So. It's an improvement going to the four strokes. It's around 55 mile an hour, but uh, there wouldn't be very many occasions you'd ever get that in the Cook Strait. Yeah. Just so happy about the whole thing, the way the boats turned out.